So as you can see, the layout here is uh, not very different on module number three, but what is very different, and some of you may notice or may not notice, the lighting is much more even on module number three. Now the problems I've been having on module number three was over here near the turnout for the entrance of the turntable, it was very dark. To, towards the center of the layout, it was washed out, way too bright. And towards the other end of the module, it was very dark. And this was more apparent on camera than it was in real life, but it was also very apparent when you were looking at the layout in real life. So as you can see in this corner, it's much brighter. Now on this particular layout, I did not want a part of the layout that was brighter than another part. I wanted the whole layout to be evenly lit. So before I give you an update, I'm going to talk about some events that will be happening. Now if you live in Clearwater, Tampa, Largo, or Pinellas Park, you'll probably already know about these events. So the first event is December, Saturday the 2nd. We're going to be at the Lago Central Park from approximately 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. To ride the trains, it's free. However, they do accept and welcome donations. The second event is December, Saturday the 9th. It will be at the Suncoast Model Railroad Club for their train show and open house. We'll be there approximately from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. A mission for adults is $7 and a mission for kids is $2. So, if you live in Florida in these areas, or just live in Florida and you want to go take an event, or if you have a, you know, a spare Saturday on these dates, come take a trip down and have a great time and meet other modelers, of course. And maybe meet me. It depends. You may not see me in all that jazz. Anyway, I'll see you there if you're going. This is what the layout looks like right now. Now you may notice that there is lots of open real estate on this layout. You also may notice that there's this track coming through here. Now right here we have an S curve. We have some straight track. And we have two S curves actually because there's an S curve there and a little small S curve right there. We're going to be removing all the track from here. So this track all the way down, all this track here, and all this track right here, we're going to be removing that. What we're going to do instead is we're going to reroute this track. So this track here is going to start right here, and it's going to be coming like so. And it's going to follow the road, and it's going to slowly but surely come back right here. This is going to be the main line. What we're going to have instead is we're going to take this road and we're going to be putting the road over the railroad track. So we're going to have a road, uh, you know, you know um, the railroad track's going to be in the road, <laughs> essentially. I forgot what they're called. I think it's like road running or something. But that's what we're going to have there. I've always wanted a road running scene, if that's what it's called, because I like the way they look. And I, you know, I also need to get rid of this for many reasons. I'll talk about this shortly. And it would be nice because I can just move it over here. I'll have a road running operation and the track won't be like so. So if we move down here. I'm going to talk about some changes here too. All this is going to be industrial. Now this curve here is fine. I will not be messing with this. That's a great radius. This one here is of a reasonable radius. This one here I don't know what I did. I gotta fix this and make that the same as this. Now over here, this whole curve is gonna be, we're gonna remove this whole curve. Um, and we're gonna rework this curve. So as you can see, that's a nice sweeping curve there. This is an uh, iffy curve. This one here is fine for what we're doing, but we're going to make it bigger too. This one actually we might not even mess with. We'll have to see when planning comes. What we're probably going to do is the outer main line here, we're just gonna follow that and we're going to uh, remove this turnout and install a curved Pico turnout instead. Lots of derailments happen right at that turnout. What we're going to do over here is somewhere back here we're going to install a Pico turnout, probably number six turnout, and it's going to come down like so. 
Then we're going to have a, lo um, a ladder track or a ladder yard. And that ladder yard is probably going to come down to here. So we're going to have a whole bunch of track right here. And I know some people don't like it, but I need it for storage. You don't think about it, but it's really nice to store stuff on your layout. Now, I know many think about that. So that's what we're going to do. That's going to be yard. Then from here on, remember this track won't be here. It'll be over there. And the road, we're going to have lots of uh, commercial stores. And then the rest is going to be residential homes with little side streets. So that's what we're going to do from here. Now, we're going to have a, uh, you know, a very detailed planning video coming up soon. This is very, very loose. Lots of iffy rambling that probably will get changed. Down here, as you can see, this layout drops right here. And my back drops right there. We're going to be adding another module. So since I removed this and made this into a wall, uh, uh, wall modules, and they're no longer peninsula modules, the great thing about that is now I have all the space here. So we're going to be adding another module. This module is going to be filled with trees, and uh, this is going to be a river, and there's going to be bridges, and the track is going to come along. Now one thing, this is a very, very, very tight radius. Now how we're going to fix that is on the new module, it's going to be like a dog bone type layout, if you will, and it won't be at all, but... And it's a dog type. This part here is going to be like a dog bonish type style. So on the new module, the bench work is going to come out like so. And then there's going to be a big uh, curve on it. And now it's going to come straight. So if I ever want to add on to this again, we can. But that's so I can have a larger curve over here so that I can run bigger trains like auto rack trains. The reason why you don't see any passenger running on the inner line here is because of this. Now, when we get rid of this, we're going to have bigger curves all along. So we're going to be fixing problems with this layout, little bugs, gremlins, if you will. And we're also going to be reworking some electrical. So as you may notice that I have these. Now, one of these you should be right over here on the other side of this module. And that had my 12-volt bus toggle switch. And I've since removed that. So I have to take all the electrical and I have to route it over here. Uh... Oh, it's going to be a lot of work, but I have to route it all the way over here and uh, to this control panel, add a new toggle switch right here for the 12-volt bus, and that will power my 12-volt bus. Now, right now, the 12-volt bus isn't really doing anything. It's just sitting there when I uh, start installing buildings and my LEDs and, and all that jazz. So one thing I really like about the layout now is the whole layout has even lighting. Nothing is getting washed out like it used to be. It makes me enjoy being out here. Just having better lighting makes me like it more out here. So this is what the lighting looks like right now. We need to buy some more fluorescent tubes. We need to uh, put some more, fe uh, not female, male connectors on the end of the plugs, male plugs. And we also have to buy more of these. to put on the end of the conduit to hold the wire and uh, make sure it doesn't short against the conduit. Now the conduit is rounded over but uh, it also helps prevent the wire from getting pulled on the shop light, if that makes any sense. So overall the layouts are very different. I've used my entire Thanksgiving break to do this. Now through the next three weeks or so we're going to be planning the layout and uh, that's going to be some videos and then on my Christmas break, we're actually going to be working on track work, fixing all that and fixing all the electrical. We're also going to be finishing the turntable, so we're going to get this up and running, and we're going to do the electrical on that. Um, I like to use these breaks, and generally, uh, I don't do a lot of work, and then I do a whole bunch of work on these breaks, because I like to use them. And during the summer, uh, I do, usually during the summer, I end up running trains a lot and doing lots of scenery work usually detailed stuff and uh, that's usually what I do with my breaks. So now this is going to be the last few segments of the videos. The video that is. Right here we have the Christmas tree. Now this uh, the base on it broke so I built a base for it like I do. Now this is just here to look nice. Uh, we don't get presents like a tr traditional family. This is how we do it. We buy something I need for the layout and I instantly put it on the layout so I can use my entire break. So that's the Christmas tree with all its little decorations on it. 
And look, even the traffic signal is in the Christmas spirit. Now it's nighttime, so I hope you can see this, but this is on our door. And this is in one of our windows, which has actually got surprisingly dirty. And of course, So, thank you for watching, and...